In hindsight, it's quite a lot of money there. Hmm. Ha! I'm doing the YouTubes. So I've been putting this off for about, in reality, two years, but primarily for a month. So I'm just going to get it out of the way. First video, who cares? I'm going to wear a shirt that's made of the most irritating material of all time. So I just want to get this out of the way, get the shirt off and get a Nando's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with top 10 weird, crazy design shirts. I think that's going to be a decent start. Um, Cause that's all I do is I play football shirts. I have like 250 of them and they're from across the world. And I believe I've got quite a decent collection going on. So I'm going to just share that with you guys and we'll just see where it goes. My collection has been online for about three years now on my website and on Instagram. And if you just follow those two avenues, then you'll have a decent idea of what I actually do. But today we're going to do just top 10 weird and wonderful shirts. I've got some pretty crazy designs hidden away in my collection. Um, in fact, these are the sort of shirts that I purposely look and try and buy because who doesn't want to wear a shirt covered in ham or have some sort of exiled political leader on it. So we'll just go from there and we'll see how it takes us. At the end of the day, it's just football shirts and don't expect anything else other than that, really. 10. We have the Sporting Club de Portugal shirt from 2017-18. It's the away shirt and I picked this up towards the end of the season in sales as I'd already owned a shirt from this club, but I felt like this design in particular deserved deserved a place in my collection. I'm very happy to own this one and it's probably one of the best design shirts I've ever had. Initially, it is the bright lime green and grey colour combination that grabs your attention, but it's the smaller details that makes this shirt truly stand out. Firstly, under the club crest is a passage of braille which reads effort, dedication, devotion and glory. In addition to this, you'll notice a series of dashes and spaces running across the front of the shirt. This is Morse code and dictates a fan-made chant. Quite what that chant is I don't know as I don't read Morse code or Portuguese. Number nine, we head to Germany and we head to Freiburg, which is their third shirt from the 2017-18 season. I ended up buying this shirt from, I believe it was, I think it's Sweden. It's a place in Sweden that sells football shirts. They must have had a sale on. I think it was actually a Christmas present, actually. And this shirt has got quite a ridiculous design. When I show you a close-up, she'll maybe notice it better. But um, this is a really cool shirt and I've not really seen it anywhere else for sale. So I'm very happy to own this one. The shirt is primarily a grey and black piece, but there are some eye-catching purple features that can be found on the trims, as well as the Hummel logo and shoulder chevrons. But as with the previous shirt, it is the smaller detailing that makes it one of a kind. The shirt takes its inspiration from the Black Forest which Freiburg is associated with. If you take a closer look at the shirt, you will notice that there are actually signs of life present hidden between the trees. There is a human, birds, foxes, rabbits, killer whales, and insects, all of which makes this shirt a unique and wonderful item. In eighth place, we have the 2014-2015 charity shirt released by um, Cultural e Deportivo Leonesa. And this was worn purely for a charity game. And as you can see, it was designed to look like a tuxedo. This is probably the first sort of out of the box shirt design that I purchased when I started collecting shirts from across the world. This is one of the few football shirts that if you were to wear it to a Weatherspoons, they probably wouldn't kick you out. You would seamlessly blend in with all the other patrons who would surely be wearing tuxedos also. The shirt also has gold chevrons and Hummel logo, which makes this shirt that bit more fancier. Though I must admit, if I were to see a group of males wearing this attire, I would probably think they were heading to a Hindu of some sorts, rather than off to play a charity football match. 
In seventh position, we have the AD Caravaca shirt from the 2015-2016 season. And this has been manufactured by Dain or Dayen. You know, you're going to notice those pop up quite often in this list. And as you can see, it's quite a ridiculous shirt design. I bought this from the classic football shirt star in Manchester. This is a shirt with which you can easily appreciate the attention to detail of the overall design. Just look at how fancy that neck design is. Moving to the main central sponsor, although, I can't help but see the Chup Chups logo instead. However, when you get to the bottom of the shirt, it is then you get to see the main attraction, which is this amazingly elaborate horse image. This is present as the overall theme of this shirt is a tribute to the Murthian festival of Cabalos del Vigno. In sixth place, we have the, it doesn't get any easier, Madureira Esport Club goalkeeper shirt from the 2013-2014 uh, season. And it's a Brazilian team, though it has a Cuban flag. It has Che Guevara and has a number on the back, which I don't usually go for, but it's special centenary one. And it has the uh, Che Guevara hasta la Vitoria Siempre. So we have a Brazilian team with a Cuban flag design and a portrait of an Argentinian revolutionary figure. Sure, why not? Regardless of whether or not you see Che Guevara as a force for good or evil, you can't deny that this shirt isn't unique or captivating. The shirt was released to celebrate the 50th year anniversary of the club, and I personally feel that this shirt should be a staple for any football shirt collection. In fifth place, we cross the border into Argentina, and we end up with, which again, another goalkeeper shirt, and this time it's for the uh, Club Ferro Carril Oeste General Pico team from Argentina. Team that I've never heard of, but only since because, well, they've got itching scratchy on the front of this one. And they've also got another shirt, which they wore the season prior. And it has Ham Simpson sort of backing into the hedge, the one that in that meme that everyone is familiar with. We start off with a pretty standard shirt design, a plain black body with a few sponsors dotted around here and there. We have the club logo and then the main sponsor. However, once we get to the bottom of the shirt, we are confronted by a couple of interesting fellas. They fight, and I've also been told on good authority that they bite. I am, of course, talking about Itchy and Scratchy, who are known from The Simpsons. I am sure that the club has all of the appropriate image rights to use these. Number four, and we're back in Europe, this time back in Spain, and it's the club football uh, Zamora shirt from this season, so the 2018-2019 is the third shirt. And I bought this from the actual website themselves, only to realise that all the other retailers, like classic football shirts and vintage football shirts, stocked it and for much cheaper than I bought it for, so I was a bit miffed off that I ended up paying a lot more than I should have. But it meant I got the shirt before anybody else, I suppose, which is kind of something. The colour scheme used for this shirt alone would ensure that it stands out compared to most other jerseys. The luminous blue catches your eye instantly and draws your attention. That being said though, it is the overall design of the shirt that keeps it. Kappa have once outdone themselves again with this amazingly detailed and intricate diagram of the human circulatory system. I never would have anticipated to see something like this on a football shirt, but here we are. It cannot be understated how clever it is to have the club logo located on the heart. A truly remarkable shirt. Top three now, and we are at Lockhart Football Club, which is another Diane or Dane shirt, Spanish, and is covered with, um, well, it's actually broccoli florets. It's not peas, it looks like it's peas, but it's, uh, it's the top of a broccoli. And how crazy is that? Just imagine wearing a football shirt with broccoli on it. Weird. We are getting into the really weird territory now, and it begins with one of your five a day. You can be forgiven to think that this shirt is covered in peas, but it is actually the floret of a broccoli that this shirt takes its inspiration from. From top to toe, you are a walking advertisement for healthy eating, which I suppose no one can argue against that. The purpose of this shirt was to promote local agricultural workers in the region, and has the message of we need water on the front. 
Number two, and it's the Club Deportivo Guijelo shirt from the 2015-2016 season. And that is, that's, yeah, that's ham. That's just straight up ham. How crazy is that? These guys are just insane. I love it though. I bought this directly from the manufacturer. And I thought, this is, this is insane. I, I'm the only person who's going to have this. And then Class Football Shirts got a lot of stock in, and now everybody has one, so, oh well. If the previous shirt was a vegan's best friend, then this one certainly has to be the enemy. Made by the same manufacturer, the shirt has gone all carnivorous on us and covered itself in ham. Subtlety has quite clearly been thrown out of the window with this jersey. But who am I to judge if the club wishes to promote one of the most import and exports from their region? Though I have this image in my head of the locals fighting the urge to eat these shirts. Also, it must be said that the club released a whole training set with this design. Go big or go home, I guess. And they were in number one, and we end up with the Loja or Lawyer Club Deportivo 2017-18 away shirt, which has got prawns on it. Prawns. Or shrimp, I suppose, depending on where you're located. Like, just, it has prawns on it. Why does it have prawns on it? Love it. I don't think anything's going to get better than this. I mean, look at the back. It's just prawns. We have reached the apex of weirdness and landed right in the centre of a prawn cocktail. This shirt has a typical black background with red trims, but these are quite clearly overshadowed by the comically massive prawns that are present on the front and rear of the shirt. I struggle to put into the words the feelings you get when you look into the eyes of a giant prawn. The reason for, these, for the presence of these friendly crustaceans is due to a partnership between the club and a local frozen food company. How magical. Well, there we have it, my top 10 weird and wonderful shirts. Thank you for watching the video if you've managed to get this far. Next time, we'll probably do something to do with my most valuable shirts. If you can subscribe, that would be great. You could be part of the OGs. And uh, until next time.